This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, January the 26th, 2019. Today in 1838, the state of Tennessee enacted the first alcohol prohibition law in the United States. The first evidence of buying and selling booze in history goes back to the Code of Hammurabi in 1772 B.C. All of the U.S. laws limiting alcohol were about production and sale, but never really about consumption. It was illegal to buy, to sell, and to possess without specific licensure for medical or religious purposes, but it was never actually illegal to consume alcohol. The Prohibition era in the United States is associated typically with the 1920s, but it lasted in various parts of the Bible Belt until very, very recently. In fact, the small city of Pineville, Louisiana is still dry as of 2019. Today is the birthday in 1880 of General Douglas MacArthur, Field Marshal of the Pacific Theater in World War II and Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers in Japan. After Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Mac helped to rebuild the Japanese infrastructure and establish a modern constitution. His legacy is tarnished slightly by the specific military defeats and politics of post-war Asia. He died in 1964 at the age of 84 and was given a state funeral. He was a true American hero. Today is also the birthday in 1905 of Maria von Trapp. She wrote her memoirs of growing up in an increasingly Nazi Austria, which were titled The Story of the Trap Family Singers, which came to Broadway as The Sound of Music. In 1965, Von Trapp's story was told definitively by Julie Andrews in one of the great triumphs of classic film. As is implied in the film, Maria Von Trapp was a Catholic, and she was decorated by the church for her efforts. In 1949, she received the Benamarenti Medal from Pope Pius XII in recognition of the benefits of the Trapp family Austrian relief for needy Austrians. In 1952, she was made a Dame of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre, and in 1956, she was recognized as Catholic Mother of the Year in the United States. She lived all the way until 1987 in Vermont, where she is buried now alongside her beloved husband. And finally, today is Australia Day down under. Today in 1788, the first fleet of British ships landed at Port Jackson, New South Wales, and the flag of Great Britain at Sydney Cove was raised by Governor Arthur Phillip. The day is celebrated with a national day off work, with the announcement of royal honors, and with the Australian of the Year Award. This year's joint recipients are Craig Shallon and Richard Harris, cave divers who were instrumental in the rescue of the football team from the flooded cave in Thailand last year. Congratulations to those excellent Australians, and happy Australia Day to all of our friends down under. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.